Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Shaq and today we are going to be unboxing the Nebra HNT Indoor Hotspot Miner with the Rack Wireless 5.8 DBI antenna. I was part of the batch one orders. Some of you may be wondering where is yours? So I would recommend checking out the Nebra Hotspot website for the latest updates and also check out their latest discord to get the most latest up-to-date information on your sh shipment or any help the latest update that we have at the moment is the update from the 3rd of june which is today's update so as you can see here it says hey folks this week we have updates on shipping updates the nebra dashboard software bugs and more so batch one two and three shipping updates so the batch one and two outdoor miners will start shipping towards the end of june they are currently being prepared for assembly and certifications are being finalized today the wi-fi dongles were certified and we expect the full miner to be certified within the next week or two batches one and two outdoor and 2500 units are being ass assembled simultaneously in the factory so they will be shipped out back to back so currently we have 49,000 hotspots onboarded currently there are 39,061 hotspots online 1300 have been added on in the last 24 hours 18,113 added in the last 30 days and we have 5,653 cities with the helium hotspots so in terms of the helium actual hotspots they are 858 onboarded with the calchip we have 23,988 and with the Nebra, we've got 598 hotspots onboarded. So if you'd like to also check out the Nebra dashboard, that is also something in which is great because it can help you out for checking out your miners. Also, you can check out what miners are in sync and what miners are out of sync. I can't go to the dashboard at the moment because this hotspot isn't online yet. So let's go through the unboxing. So this is what comes in the box. So you've got the power connector. So these are different plugs here. So this would be a European one. You have it for different different countries so this is the one that i would be using in the uk so this is the adapter that comes with it this would be the main power socket which would connect into the back of the miner itself Then you also have some stickers here. Different power supply adapters. Each different power supply adapter would be for your country. So depending on which country you are in, you would use that particular one. For me personally, I'm going to be using the UK one. So this is the main actual machine itself the device so as you can see in the first initial batch from batch one the motherboard was shaking so as you can see here I'm shaking it there's no sound coming so that means that the motherboard isn't loose on this one so the mother motherboard was generally loose for the first 1000 Nebra hotspot miners for the rest of the Nebra hotspot miners they're not loose so you won't have any issues the only issue is maybe you might find that this antenna connector might be a bit loose but this one this one seems very sturdy to me so here you would have the power connector you have your indicator light 
you have the reset button for your Bluetooth pairing. This is where the antenna would be fitting. And here is your Ethernet cable. So Neva also provides you with an Ethernet cable. So you won't have to go out and buy yourself one. So this is the one that I will also be using. In terms of the antenna itself, it does come with a stock antenna. So guys, that's the helium miner. This comes with the rack wireless antenna, which I ordered as the upgrade. So this would be going on to the back of this. And you've also got your clamps, which I'll be clamping on the antenna itself. This here is the extended antenna, so I won't be using I will be using the stock antenna over here. So this is the one that I will be using. So this here guys is the antenna which I've ordered from Rack Wireless. I will post a link in the video from where you can get this from. The Rack Wireless antenna you need to make sure that you get different DBI dependent upon where you live. I've got the 5.8 DBI because I live in an urban area. However, if you live in a rural area, I would recommend that you get the 8 DBI antenna. This does come with the internet connection. Um, I would also recommend when you're making when you're making your order for the antenna that you make sure that you look for the female version of the antenna. This ordered from Rack Wireless. The stock is fine, but I would recommend that you upgrade your antenna as you will earn more helium rewards. All of the hotspots do the exact same thing, but majority of them have different antennas, DBIs. So for example, the Bobcat that has four, I think four DBI as standard, whereas this is a three DBI. The only difference between the original hotspot and the Nebra is the thickness. So if you look at the original hotspot, this is quite thick compared to that one. So guys, in terms of the installation, Helium does have an indoor quick start guide. I will be posting a link at the bottom of the video of this quick start guide. So what this basically goes through is what your device should actually come with. So the neighbor hotspot comes with the indoor hotspot as you've all seen in the video. Um, so please note, the warnings that you do need to make sure is that you never power the indoor hotspot without its antenna connected as this may damage the unit. A lot of people don't know this. So please, please make sure when you guys are setting up your antennas you are making sure that the antenna is connected before you even start plugging it on so do not also place it in direct sunlight or on hot surfaces for example a heater the indoor unit's case is designed to be used indoors and it is not suitable for use outside if you want to place the miner outside please do consider weatherproof outdoor hotspot miner we have so first of all, how you would set this up is by getting your stock antenna and screw it, screwing it in to the back over here. So that would be the into the connector on the back of the hotspot. Next, what you need to do is you need to find a suitable location for your hotspot to be positioned and to provide the best coverage we do recommend placing it near a window just out of direct sunlight you need to be near a mains power source too step three if you're using a wired ethernet connection connect an ethernet cable between a router or switch and the ethernet jack on the hotspot fit the appropriate power plug for your country 
onto the universal supply and plug it into the mains outlet. Finally, connect the DC jack from the power supply into the hotspot, which would go just over here. You should then, once you have plugged that in, you will see this light here go green and the lower LED light at the back of the unit turn on and the hotspot should take about five minutes to configure for its first boot. The upper light will turn on when it is ready for configuration. If you have it connected through a wired internet, this process may take longer as it will process firmware updates as soon as it gets a connection to the internet. Configuring your Nibra hotspot indoor miner. To configure your hotspot, you will require the Helium application installed. So the Helium application, so if we go to it, so this over here, is the helium application so when you come to the helium application so this is the page that you would come to here what we need to do is select helium indoor hotspot so just making sure that you've got it placed near a window it states here give me a nice view hotspots love places where they can see plenty of sky and spaced at least 300 meters away from other hotspots Guys, it's very important that you have 300 meters between each hotspot that you have so that you can split the rewards evenly. Also, don't keep it hidden. Hotspots shouldn't hide in a nightstand or a bookcase. They should be placed next to a window instead. The buildings may block the signals, so nearby buildings may decrease your hotspots coverage for nearby devices. And then you also got bug screens. Try to keep your hotspot away from metal meshes, which can block radio signals dramatically, which will reduce your earnings on the Helium network. So once you've confirmed that, you just need to go through the diagnostics. Diagnostics is important because this allows Nibra Limited to identify any issues with your hotspot in a secure way. Nibra will never have access to private keys and will only ever be able to access your hotspot and not any other devices on your network if you would like to opt out of diagnostic please email support at nebra.com from the email used to purchase your hotspot so then you click i understand then this is the part where you would attach the power to your device and plug in the power adapter near a window so then the hotspot itself will have a green light over here and it's powered on and then you will just click I'm powered up. So once you've clicked powered up, then you would then pair um, and you would go through the pairing process. So guys, once you get to the Bluetooth screen, after you followed the steps on the app, you get to this page, you push the button on the app to get to this page and uh, the back of the unit to enable pairing and then you press scan on the app. This will then show you this screen here. Hold down the button on the back of the Nibra indoor hotspot until it starts flashing. So the button that you need to be holding down is this button over here. And once the LED is slowly blinking, that means that it's ready to pair. That's when you would look for your hotspot. You press the entry for your hotspot in the app. You can check it is the correct one by matching the last six characters shown in the application with the last six characters of the MAC address printed on the sticker on the bottom of the hotspot. So that would be the address over here. So guys, after following the steps on the app to get to this page, push the button on the back of the unit to enable pairing and then press scan on the app. You've got the Bluetooth, you hold down the button on the back of the Nebra hotspot. So that's the button over here. You press this button and uh, you'd press that until it starts flashing press the entry for your hotspot in the app so in the app it will show you your Nibra hotspot it will say that one hotspot is found and you check it is the correct one by matching the last six characters shown in the application with the last six characters of the MAC address printed on the sticker of the bottom of the hotspot which is the stickers over here so the app will show the available Wi-Fi networks within your range of hotspot I'm going to be using Ethernet, so I'm going to be clicking on use Ethernet instead. So then you just skip to part 7. So then the app 
will ask for you to set your hotspots location as part of your purchase price helium does cover the 40 dollars activation fee and the first dollar location fee you can move the device to another location however every time you move your hotspot to a new location you will need to pay ten dollars location assertion fee again finally you can confirm the location of your hotspot click continue and you should be presented with a map to place where your hotspot is on the app. The setup is now complete. It will submit details of the hotspot to the Helium network and then approximately it will take 15 minutes to confirm when it's added to the network. If you've got any questions, please do shout me out and let me know. I will let you guys also know how much it's earning and if I come across any issues whilst installing it and how I have solved those issues. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe.